Welcome to day two of science for Wonder Junction. This experiment is called Lasso Lesson. So, being in the Old West, cowboys would use lassos for any number of reasons. They could lasso their herd that was getting away. They could pull something out of the mud. They could even drag uh, logs to a campfire. Um, so what we're going to do in this one is, if you can get your hands on an authentic lasso, and in the tip section I have a place where I got my authentic lassos, uh, you will get to experiment. I do suggest practicing a little before you experiment, uh, and maybe catch a chair or something uh, with your lasso. I'll let Hannah demonstrate this for us. So, the kids aren't going to experiment with the big lassos, but we are going to give them each their own little lasso, okay? So, what they will be doing is lassoing a water bottle. So, it's not really lassoing where you're going to fling it the way that Hannah did. They're just going to kind of fling and see if they can't catch a water bottle, okay? So, the trickiest thing about this is making the Honda knot. So. A Honda knot is a special type of knot that stays open. And that's what the lasso uses so that when you put the rest of it through to make the loop, it doesn't close up on it. It stays nice and round. Okay, so making this loop, I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to take like a yard or a meter of paracord and in one end, First, you're going to tie just an overhand knot for your stopper knot right near the end. Okay. Then, to tie the loop, you're going to make another overhand knot, and you see how it makes that pretzel shape? You're going to take this back through the first top of the pretzel and pull on the cord here and tighten it down. And this one is really big, uh, but you've got here a Honda knot. Now, what I did when I was making ours is if I had a, a big space here between the stopper knot and the loop, I would kind of work it down to get it closer to the end. Um, so the children will each get one of these, and all they need to do is do that yo-yo type slip knot thing, and this becomes their lasso. Now. Do make sure to give them instructions that this only goes over water bottles and maybe you can catch your finger, but never around somebody's neck. Just throw that out there. And they can have fun practicing to be a cowboy. That was Lasso Lesson Day 2. Welcome to the second experiment for Day 2 of Wonder Junction called Layers Upon Layers. This one is going to teach the kids about one of the seven natural wonders of the world. This time it's the Grand Canyon. So layers upon layers refers to the different rock layers that you can see there. They're also going to learn things like why this had to have happened after a global flood, uh, some other important information for them like that. Um, but the experiment, they're going to make candy rock layers. So we have Jolly Ranchers. And we're going to give each child their choice of two colors. You don't really want to use, say, you wouldn't want to use an orange and a red. They're not far enough apart, but I'm going to use a red and a blue today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my first rock layer and I'm going to put it onto a paper plate and cover that with another paper plate. And I have a hammer here, this is a kitchen hammer. You can use any type of hammer. You can use rocks, you can use whatever that can smash this. And I'm gonna take this down to the floor to smash it because if I do it on the table, it's gonna be really loud. So let me go and smash this. I will be right back. Let's remove this top plate and see what we have here. Pretty smashed. We do have a big chunk. I might hit that again. Uh, for now, though, let's just go ahead and take a spoon, plastic spoon, and scoop our crushed Jolly Rancher into a little tall one ounce portion cup. 
I'm only going to make two layers of in my rock layers. Uh, if you have a lot of time and want to make more, you can do more with different layers. I'm going to put a second cup on top of here and holding the rims, I'm going to kind of try to mash them together to compact that bottom layer. Okay. Can you see me compacting here? And so there is my first layer. So now I'm going to get another plate, or I could use that same plate if I wanted, it wouldn't matter, and a second color. And give me just a minute to go to the floor and smash this one. I'll be right back. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay, oh, there's my blue, smashed. Let me get it down into the bottom and scoop it up and I'm gonna add my second layer in here. For this experiment, I also um, had pictures of rock layers and things, rock formations, um, taped on the walls. So make sure if you do that, you use something like painter's tape or a putty that's going to come off and not damage the walls. All right, so now each student gets to have their own candy rock layers. And this was day two, layers upon layers.